Esto viene... Hello students, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English class. How are you today? How are you? Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay, so ready? I'm uh, ready. That's okay. I would like to listen to some other comments about your days. How, about your day, how was it? Was good, excellent. And some volunteers to, you know, talk about your personal experience. This day is so bad for me. Why? Bad. And why? Un pequeño accidente, pero la resto del día creo que sí estuvo bien. Se escucha algo lejos. We listen, we battle the listen, perhaps. Maybe the microphone could be. Okay, so perhaps the microphone could be the situation. Okay, so, well, we hope to, to, you know, to learn a lot because this is one of the goals we have right here to, you know, start a class and, um, you know, trying to, you know, do our best in what we do in our class. And uh, yesterday we had a great time because we had the opportunity to um, socialize some exercises in English. And we will continue today working with some other valuable topics that we have to, you know, to learn in this class. And this is a good time for that. So let's start today. And we have uh, the topic for this class. So you can check here. Uh, we have the video conference number nine and the topic is Little Light Rap. That is a good you know, topic about music. And especially because we love music. We have a uh, different uh, likes about music and we, at the same time we have some dislikes about music too. Uh, do you listen to music every day? Or sometimes? Or usually? Every day. Every day. What, what kind of music do you listen to? Every day. What kind of music do you like? Rock. Rock music? Okay. Yes. But what kind of rock? Like a uh, rock, like a uh, old rock or modern rock? Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Oh, okay, heavy metal. All right. Yeah, there are you know there are great bands of this, and uh, also let's say romantic music, and it could be ah romantic music. That is also a category too. Yeah, very interesting about it. And also heavy metal too. Do you have a favorite band, Henry? Do you have a favorite the, um, heavy metal band? Ronnie James Dio. Wow, nice. It's interesting. Sounds, sounds great. <laughs> so do you listen everyday music? Do you listen everyday or sometimes? Everyday. Everyday. Every okay, that's that's great. Yeah, let me tell you that I love music. Definitely, I love music. But being honest with you guys, um, also I'm a I'm a I'm a singer. But the thing is that I don't I don't listen to music very often because I'm doing some things and I prefer it when I stay home watch television instead of um what uh, listening to music. So I don't usually listen to music. Sometimes during the week that I listen to music, but I love music, and. Uh, 
and especially all kind of genres, okay? So that is the question, do you like rap? The question is, students, do you like rap? Yes, well. Okay, and Anna says pop rock. Oh, pop rock. Wow, nice, 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 nice. Do you, do you listen to music in English or in Spanish? Because there are some people who always listen to music in Spanish. They all the time listen to music in Spanish. And there are some other people who listen to music in English. English means subtitles. Both. Both. Mm hmm Okay. All right. So, yeah, I spoke both languages. Okay. Do you listen music from other languages besides English and Spanish? Do you listen to music from other, a different language? Like Korean or Japanese or, I don't know, German music? No? Ooh. No. No. All right. That's okay. Well, let's start now with the first topic here. And um, we present the topic. Okay, so who wants to help me to read the general objective? In this lesson, participants will like listen to a conversation first in likes and dislikes. Okay. Thank you so much. So we can check here that this is what we had to do, right? We're going to listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. And at the same time, and we will have the opportunity, you know, to talk about likes and dislikes related to music. All right, let's see this. Let's see here. Okay, look at this one. We have uh, this information that is related to music. Let's see what happened. Do you like rap? Music sales in the United States. We have a uh, rock that is 25%. The sales, the people like rock, and, and this is the percentage. Others, 16% classical music. Imagine just the 3%. Just 4%. That's mean that few people listen just nowadays. Gospel music, 7%. Look at that. Gospel music, 7%. Rap music, 14%. R and V. 11%. Also, we have uh, pop music. Well, in that case, I think it's in general. And um, because the, perhaps they are talking about pop music in English. And maybe this is a very interesting, you know, kind of music, right? And also we have the country 9%. And also we can check this one, 9%. So look at this. We saw the rhythm RMB. Uh, it's called Rhythms and Blue. That is a kind of genre of music. RMB is Rhythm and Blues. That's the name of this one. And well, this is a very Afro-American genre. If you're asking like teacher, what kind of music is R&B? Is rhythm and blues. It's a kind of Afro-American music that is very common. It's like a combination of blues and jazz and gospel. It's a very interesting combination. If you have the chance, you can investigate about this music, R&B, rhythms and blues. Okay, so it's R &B. nice. Yes. It's the combinations between blues, jazz, and gospel music. It's a very active rhythm of music, right? So look at this one, and there are some questions we have here. 
the first question is, which of these kinds of music are popular in El Salvador? Rap, bro, classical, maybe. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a post because I'm checking here in the chat that, for example, there are some students that they like um, Japanese music and also Korean that, that is very common nowadays. Uh, like Ursula, she says merengue. That's cool. And also David says that, you know, he lives in both languages. Different kind of music, Korean music and Ramstein, like when he likes Ramstein, yeah, that is German. Yeah, it's a very, uh, very strong music. Ramstein, I, I have heard about this. Yeah, Japanese is very, like, no, very common. And cumbias, Latin American music, salsa and all stuff, right? Reggaeton too. Oh, she doesn't like reggaeton. Wait, <laughs> you know that. Well, so we can see here, uh, what which of these other kind of music are popular in El Salvador? from the list and tell me if that is common in English or in Spanish or in both languages. You can help me with that. Yes. Okay, any volunteer? Well, in my opinion, I believe that in our country, uh, the popular music is cumbia or merengue, uh, salsa. But according to the according to the question that. Are this uh, this type of music um, popular in El Salvador or mm, not? Uh, no, no, because um, I will. I I believe that um, in El Salvador there are uh, different types of 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 music. Uh, I do rap. Okay, so different, okay, different uh, kind of music. Perhaps some kind of, like classical is not so common, I think. Even country, this is more American. Perhaps rap is very common. I think rap could be. And the question number two is, what other kinds of music are popular in El Salvador? As you mentioned, right? You were mentioned about cumbia, right? Or merengue. Oh yes. Okay, what other kind of music are popular in El Salvador? Yes. Yes, teacher, Colombia, merengue. It can be rock too. Okay. Uh, alternative rock, I believe. Yeah, uh, yeah, it could be. Alternative rock, it's, it's a good choice, I guess, though. Okay, what else can we include? Electronical music. Okay, yes. Also, and also it's not here because electronic music is very important nowadays. You know, people like electronic music and also the combination of rhythms are necessary too. Yeah, that's okay. I totally agree with you. 
Okay, any other comments about it? No more comments? He's here. Everywhere reggaeton. I don't like reggaeton. <laughs> you don't like reggaeton. Okay. I understand. <laughs> okay. Because of the reading or perhaps the messages because, um, you know, it's a little bit um, challenging for some people, this music. In todas partes. There, en are, el bus, en el super, en todo. there are different rhythms. There are different, um, you know, styles but also could be a little bit cultural because there are some um, kind of genres of music that it's uh, more cultural. All right, let's continue with the next part. Okay, look at this. We have uh, uh, entertainment. Complete the word map with words from the list. We have a classic called game shows and uh, horror films, jazz, news, pop, salsa, science fiction, soap operas, talk shows, thrillers, and westerns. And also you had to complete this world map and according to the categories, we have TV programs, and movies and music. So I want you to like match the category with also with the vocabulary because it's related to entertainment. And then after you do that one, you will add two or more words in each category. That's what you had to do. And then compare with the partner. And the number letter C will be numbered items in each list from one you like it most to six that you like it the least and then compare your ideas. So I will give you a couple of minutes to separate the, um, you know, this vocabulary and then you will have to add two more categories for each list. And then you will rank this uh, vocabulary from one to six. One is the most important or the, the things you like. And six is number six is the, le the least, like not so much. Okay, so that's what we had to do. Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of Western? Westerns, uh, well, in, in this case, it's a very, it's an American, um, uh, we could say category, and it is called Westerns. Uh, in Spanish, it's like, um, one second, it's because I was actually thinking and actually checking here the, the list of some students. Yeah, so this is like kind of Occidental music. Music that perhaps is like oh, not common here in the um, in the country, so that is one starts. It's like, for example, Korean music. What is the meaning, teacher? No, no understand. Uh, music from the we could say Occidente. Is it music a country? No, it's for example music that belongs to other like we could say. In the continent, for example. Pero, o sea, Western es un tipo de música. Oh, yeah. And also, this is, this is a kind of... But also, in television, Western is related to, mov to movies or series that are related to a specific genre, cinematographical genre, también. Tiene como ese significado. También eh, significa como película del oeste, if you remember the Westerns but also it's related to music from other countries. Mm -hmm. So you can also categorize this one. People say also for television, if we're talking about television, the Westerns, um, películas de lejano oeste. Have you heard about this category? Yeah, like um, Bonanza, I believe. Ah, yeah, I saw Bonanza, yeah. 
it was a it was a very old movie yeah yeah <laughs> yeah this but this category is um also included in mm. i i i was thinking about a, a kind of series a very old series that i don't know if you remember or if you have heard about famous actor that was called chuck norris i don't know if yeah. you have the action yeah chuck norris was a very famous or is a very famous actor but i don't remember the name of the series though what's a kind of series and that he was like a cherry well he was a cherry but i don't remember the name of this series mm. ranger the Te ah yeah ranger of texas <laughs> Yeah, I, I just remember that the Ranger of Texas. Yeah, that was a very nice um series. I remember when I was like a, a kid, I I used to watch that one, and definitely that looks very interesting. He was the the hero in the in this kind of you know series, right? Okay, I will give you a couple of minutes, and then you will socialize with your partners. Um, and I want you to do something right now. I want you to uh, first uh, work with the partner and you will categorize this information, the vocabulary with the categories like movies, music, and TV programs. And you have to add more words for each category and then compare with the partner. Okay, so that's what we'll have to do. But what I want is that you socialize with your partners because it's important, the interaction, the communication is important. So I want you to connect and practice because the interaction can help us to improve English too. Okay, you have uh, five minutes to discuss this information with your partners. Let's go. Gracias. 
Hola. Hola, hoy sí le oigo, por ratito no le escucho, sí, ese. Se corta entonces. Yo, yo le separé las categorías, le digo. Ya la separé. Ah, sí, sí. Fíjese de que sí, ya pensé en las. Ya solo me falta la última. Por ejemplo, tú? yo en. Ajá. En TV, en TV Programs. ¿Cuáles tienen? El Game Show. Eh, he puesto Game Show. Game Show. Ajá. New, que son noticias. Y el otro es. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Es el SOAT. Subopers. Subopers. Ajá. Que Ajá, son telenovelas. Que son telenovelas. Ajá, telenovelas. Y lo otro, la siguiente, quiero ver si el programa de entrevista. Talk show? Talk show, sí. Y, y Winter. Ajá, sí, eso sería. En Movies. En Movies he puesto Horror Films. Horror Films. Y Ciencia Ficción. Y trailer. Ajá. Ese le he puesto en los programas. Porque esas son novelas de suspenso. Trailer. No son películas de miedo, de horror. Podría ser también. Uh -huh. Sí, podríamos ponerlos en móvil. En móvil. Uh -huh. Y ahí music. Clásico. Voy a quitar de ahí. Jazz. Ahí puesto jazz, pop, clásico, salsa. ¿Cuál sería entonces? Um, El de ópera sería. Ópera, TV program. Ah, TV. Y el otro, este, talk show, también sería en TV program. En TV. Trailers, sería en películas, ¿verdad? Talk show. Ah, creo que también sería en TV program. También. Y where is trailers? Trailers, avances serían. Ah, pues como si no serían películas. Como las películas no quedan como avance, cosas así. O no, van las la tele también, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, pues no, la tele. Y la última. Bueno, este es lo que estaba explicando el teacher. Ah, pues eh, la última, entonces, es así, ¿en, en qué categoría iría? Sí, esa sería entonces de entonces esa sería de movie movie sí porque ajá la este sería como movie eh, hoy no sé dónde está Ah, pero yo entiendo que va como enfocado a cosas así como como una cultura como lo que hablábamos de películas de vaqueros ajá uh, entonces quizás sería en, en movie ajá entonces ahora podemos agregar dos más por cada categoría por movie. cada categoría claro en el ah. música, música, podemos rock. agregar rock, ajá, rock. Es muy popular. Rock, y la otra. Mm. Agreguemos bachata. <ríe> Bye. Bien se fue. Bachata. Ni bailar ah. la fe. Sí. <ríe> Por dos. 
se puede, bueno. se puede agregar una categoría como romántica. Ah. Ay, no, 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 romántica. Romántica. Bueno, en TV podemos agregar Panther Pink. Pink Panther. Uh, ¿Cuál, perdón? Pink Panther. Eso es. Rosita, la pantera ah, la rosa. pantera rosa. <ríe> ok, otra cosa. Escubidudo. Sí. <ríe> El pica piedra, escubidudo, la novela. <ríe> es parte de movie. Ah, pero, ok, pero yo creo que entonces esto entraría como en categoría, como en caricaturas. Ajá, ah, en caricaturas. Como la, como la categoría. Uh -huh. sí, claro. ya me, ya me faltaron las preguntas todavía de abajo. Bueno, vamos a ver cómo nos va. Bueno, pues, adiós. Me un gusto. Hello? Hello? Okay, so, okay, so let's socialize the categories. Let's socialize the categories right now in that we have, uh, you know, a good practice. I saw that most of you were trying to separate the vocabulary with the categories. Let's see what happened. I will use the color red for movies. So, what vocabulary is related to movies? Who wants to help me? Uh, thrillers, westerns, horror West films, um, science fiction. Uh, okay. Science fiction. Romantic, mystery. Okay, movies is horror films, science fiction, thrillers, and westerns. Okay. Horror film. Game show. Mm, but this is not for movies. That is from TV programs. Okay, so let's see. I will use color blue for the... Um, that case, one second. Movies. I will use color blue for the, the TV programs. What do we have for TV programs? Game, Game shows, news, doll shows, doll shows is soap opera. Okay, yeah, soap operas. It's for music, I think. Talk shows too, right? Talk shows. Wednesday? I'm sorry, what? Wednesday? News, news too. Okay, yeah, news too, all right. Um. Okay, let's see. Yes, it's okay. And let's talk about. I will use. I will use orange too. Look at this. Check this one. What about music? Salsa. Yes. Pop. Classical. Classical. Classical music. Jazz and pop music. Fuck. Uh, do you like uh, classical music or do you listen classical music? I, like I don't it. like it. I like, I it. like classical music. 
Okay, I like cla classic, uh, classical music, but I don't have time to listen. But I like, you know, some, some kind of music like this. But the only, but the only one thing is that, um, yeah, it's, it's it, people are feel relaxed when they listen this type of music, so they they do that, right? Okay, so let's continue. Go ahead. All right, let's continue. Any questions or comment? No. No comments. Teacher, what did the mean at talk show? Talk shows. Yes. Shows are to shows like are for example, there are some hosts or people who present a, a show, and um and some other people they go to the show and they talk about different topics about you know famous people. Como una entrevista. Yeah, kind of interviews. Yes, um, it's more similar to a podcast. But the thing is that the talk shows, like, have you heard about Oprah or Don Francisco? Yes, yes, yes. But in the case of talk shows, there are different topics that they discuss in the in this program. They talk about music, they talk about artists, they talk about politics. There are different topics that they socialized in these kind of talk shows. Next. Thank you. All right, thanks. Okay, we have a conversation. We have a conversation between two people. I really like pop music. Look at this. Listen and practice. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think, I, I don't know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess. I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Um, Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. So they are talking about, you know, music. And you can see the questions like, do you like? Do you like rap? Do you like pop? And also... We talk about some uh, special artists. Do you know Eminem? Do you know Eminem? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, he's a, a rapper. Yes. That's correct. And also the question is, and do you play any musical instrument like the piano, the bass, the saxophone, the guitar? Do you play any musical instrument? No, I don't. I like music instrument. I like the music, the violin. Do like the, ah, you like the, the violins. Violin. Okay. And, and cello. Uh, Oh, the cello. Can you can you play it? Can you play the cello? Yeah. Well, I, I love I this. Like yeah, I love this instrument. I play the guitar, and I also play the bass too. Fantana. Yeah, I, I love this. You know, the guitar is my favorite. Being honest, I I like the piano too. Um. Also, I I'm I'm good at that. And all I have another questions. Can you sing? Can can you sing? I can't, but oh, I, can. I, I can. try. I can. I can, I can, I can sing in my in my church. <laughs> okay, some people they say they sing in the shower. Yeah, in the car. In the car, yeah. When nobody yeah. listens. In my yeah. kitchen. <laughs> Okay, people say I can't teach her. I can sing, but I don't sing good, but I sing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens, you know, you know how it is, right? 
That's my case. That's my case. You sing, but it's not so promising. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, but we can sing. Doesn't matter if, if we sing in the shower. Okay, so we're going to check in a briefly way the, the questions that we saw in the conversation previously. Um, actually, it's part of the feedback. We have, for example, the questions. Uh, do you like rap? So you can. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Period. No, I, don't I, like, I like it a lot. I don't like oh. mm -hmm. When you say I like it a lot, it's like, you know what? The rap is one of the, be the best type of music. So you can, when you say the word, I like it a lot. So that's mean that you like it in a high category. Um, mm. No, I don't like it very much. It's like the opposite. So when you don't like it, so you don't like this type of music. Um, does he play the piano? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Uh, this is the WH questions we do. Um, that's why I ask you do, you, do you play the piano? Good question. Uh, by the way, do you play the piano or not? No, um, I don't play the piano. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. You don't play the piano. I play the piano. That's good. All right. And look at the next one. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love. Yes, them. I like. Yes. Yeah, they. they yeah, I like. I like the Beatles. Yes. Too. Yeah, there are amazing songs that I like from the Beatles. Okay, so that is the point. Look at this. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. Or no, they don't. Or they don't like them very much. What kind of music do you like? For This question is for people who, you know, you don't know if they like it or not. Do you, What kind of music do you like? I, I like rap music, salsa, pop, reggaeton, bachata. And gospel music, Western music, so depending the categories. Also, there are some. Yeah, teacher. Yep. What is uh, gospel music? Gospel music is, as we call in Spanish, uh, musica cristiana. This is a Christian music. Uh, that's, that's gospel. Oh, okay. Okay. This, this name is very common in the United States. They, they call them, uh, do this category, gospel music. In El Salvador, we don't called in gospel we say musica cristiana in spanish but um yeah gospel music is very famous in the united states too i like gospel music teacher yeah me too yeah me too i, I like are, there are amazing uh, amazing gospel music yes but i, but I prefer being honest yes i like i i, I listen like connection yeah, the connection with God is amazing. But yeah, something, yes. something interesting is that I I like music in English, everything. But for gospel music, I prefer Spanish music, Spanish gospel music. I prefer that than English gospel music. I, I don't listen gospel music in English. I prefer in Spanish because the message... Mm -hmm. like, it's so intense. So uh, a great connection with my own language. That's the point. The Hillsong song. The. The Hillsong song. Ah yeah, I, I have heard about Hillsong. There are a couple of songs that I have heard. They are good. Yeah, definitely. But I prefer in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, maybe oh, English yeah. or the me melody. How do you say melodia? Yeah, the melody. melody. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, then. and the Spanish for maybe Ev Evan Graf, he sing in Spanish the song, the hill song in English. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they, they, me they too, me too. in both languages, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's okay. I totally, I just remember that one too. Yeah, great music. Definitely that every music that, you know, is related to God. In my case, I like it. All right, so let's continue with the next questions. Uh, what does he play? He plays the guitar. He plays the piano. 
he plays the bass. He plays the saxophone. So we are talk about some, you know, kind of instrument, musical instruments. And do you, who do they like? They like U2. Have you heard about this band, U2? It's a... Uh, um, también, a rock band, I guess. From the United States or or England, I don't know. Okay, from England. England. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. Well, look at the following part. We have uh, object pronounced. Look at this one. We have the famous object pronounced. And this is something that we need to check. Look at this. Who wants to help me? Um, who wants to help me to read the object pronouns? Hi, teacher. Yes, thank you. Object pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, us, them. Okay. Okay, do you know what is the function of an object pronoun? Okay, okay, the object pronoun, the function is the Okay, an object pronoun, as he mentioned, is a personal pronoun, but this is used typically as a grammatical object. Por eso que dice object. And um, the direct and indirect object, right? So the object pronoun contrasts with the object. That's what we call, a, por eso dice me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. A, me, that would say in Spanish como me. Ya, ya, llámame, call me, dime, tell me, uh, I call you, te, te llamo, I call you, te llamo, eh, call him, llámalo, entonces ese lo es un object pronoun, porque se refiere a él, so call him, is like her, see her, la ves, a ella, en este caso her, o Ubicalo, put it. See it. Míralo, see it. Odinos, tell us. Ese nos, tell us. O tell them, cuéntales. This is the function of an object pronoun. So the function is to replace the personal pronouns but also it is used as an object. So the, the object pronouns, as the word says, are used as objects in a sentence. Dime la verdad, tell me, me, the truth. So you, I, I am the object of the sentence. Look at the following um, structures too, about the yes, no questions. The verb do has two forms, the present do and does, right? The verb do has one form in the past that is did. The, the present is do, the past is did. And then we have the subjects, I, you, we, you, they, he, she, and it, the personal pronouns. The present form do and do for the first person and also do I, do you, do we, do they? And that's for the third person. Does he, does she, does it? And the past is did. It is in the past form. Attention, in simple present tense, we add the suffix s or es at the end of the verbs from the third regular subject. He, she, it. He plays, 
he dances, he goes, he travels, he uses, he sees, he watches television, he plays video games, he drives the car. So we add S or ES at the end of the verb in this case. But in questions, we use do or does. And in negative form is doesn't, doesn't, or don't as an auxiliary verb. Don't you play soccer? Doesn't she study English? Don't you play video games? Does, doesn't he go to the gym? So we used uh, the question do and does. Look at the next one. Although we can see the personal pronouns and also we have the suffixes s and es rules rule for making questions when we are making a just no questions we put the verb do, do or dust at the beginning of the sentence if there is no any auxiliary verbs in a sentence do you like ice cream do you play video games do you dance do you go to the gym? Do you like rap music? Do you sing? Do you play a musical instrument? Do you play the violin? Do you sing a song? So we can also use for questions. And the third person is like, she gets up early. Does she get, get, get up early? So you can see the affirmative and the questions. And we have a short long answer form do we know each other that's the question and the answer could be yes or yes we do yes we know each other does it work loudly no or no it doesn't no it doesn't work loudly so we can use a short answer in a long answer that depends the person uh, do you play video games Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. I play video games. Oh, no, I don't. I don't play video games. Do you visit your grandmother? Yes, I do. I visit my grandmother. So this is like the structures about the yes, no questions. And a very important topic to discuss. But I want you to check the following information. Complete these conversations. Perhaps the image is not so clear what I understand here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We had to complete this conversation and then practice with a partner. Um, we had to use do or don't. Um, do or dust, remember, do or dust, and to complete the following sentences. Meanwhile, you do this one, I will take advantage to check the attendance list because of the time, because I think that the time is going so fast. Okay, one moment. One second. Okay, look at the chat. In the chat is, is pictures, this image. So meanwhile, you work in this exercise, I will update the attendance list. Just give me one second, please.
Ana is is Ella Janes. Present teacher. Thanks. Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. No está. It's not here. David Alejandro Rodríguez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Eh, Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Present. Fiorella Alejandra Crespin. Present. Gerardo José Tepas. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Present. Jorge Francisco López. Present. Eh, Juana Margarita Sea. Present, teacher. Okay. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Eh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present. Thank you. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Katy. She's not. Laura Lisette Peña. Present. Eh, Lorena Raceli Hernandez. Lorena is not. Eh, Mirna Jasmine. Portillo. Present. Oscar o Tony. Present. Ok. Oscar. Present. Ok. Eh, Reina Jael Arevalo. Reina. She's not. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Eh, Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana, she's not. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Present. Eh, Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. So are the ones we have. Okay, congratulations. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Okay, because of the time, in a briefly way, we're going to uh, answer this exercise and work tomorrow. Number letter, well, in that case, number one. What do you have the number one? Do you like science fiction movies? And you say, no, I, I don't. I don't, right? And the other one, I don't like. It very much. Yes. Look at the chat. I don't like it. Number two. Um, number two. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Uh-huh. And B? I think, I think Jake does, but I don't know about Lisa. Why don't you ask here? Excellent. Great job. So look at the chat. So we have do, and also I think Jake does, but I don't know about Lisa. Why don't you ask her? Good. Excellent. ¿Por qué no le preguntas a ella? Entonces you ask her it. That's the answer. And the number three. Number three. What do of those, those of music? What? I think those, I don't know. 
Mm, but in the first one, after, after what? What of what, um, what kind? What kind of music do Noriko and Iran like? Uh huh. Yes. They love class classic music. Noriko really likes Jojo Ma. Mm -hmm. What does he play? Okay. Does he play? Eh, ¿Cuál podría ser la pregunta ahí? What does he play? Ok, veamos si puede funcionar. What does he play? ¿Qué es lo que él toca? Maybe, could be. What does he play? ¿Qué es lo que toca? Uh, the cello. I have this, this music. Let's listen to it. Ok, so... I, I think it's, it's definitely important. So, we will continue, guys, working with the exercises because the time was... Like not enough, we have some exercises that we will continue tomorrow. And um, I hope that we have learned a lot and practiced. So do you have any questions before we finish the class? Teacher, in the ultima, the cello I have, his new CD, let's listen, is him or it? Well, they love classical music. Noriko really likes Jojo Man. Uh, what yeah. does he play? We're talking about him, the cello. I have his because it's for he. He's, him. Listen to him. Listen to him. Okay. Listen to him Thanks. because we're talking about Noriko. And Noriko is a, a man's name, is what I understand. But it says Noriko and Eton like, right? So in that case, to him. Yes. Okay. Let escuchem. Right. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.